Welcome back to Movie Rewind. Today I will tell you about a drama, thriller movie from 2022 titled The Immaculate Room. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. A new experiment by the enigmatic Dr. Voyan, rewards couples with $5 million if they spend 50 days in an immaculate room, or just $1 million if one of them withdraws. The only entertainment is each other's company, there is no interaction with the outside world. However, they can purchase treats by using a portion of the winnings. Mike and Kate, the newest couple, are viewing the experiment as easy money. As the couple reflects on their good fortune, Kate suggests that they ultimately divide the cash to make things simpler. She wants to invest the money, which Mike finds incredibly boring. He envisions his future as one of partying and enjoying himself without ever having to worry about money again. They discover they weren't lying when they describe the area as immaculate after hearing the AI voice remind them of the rules. The only things in the room are a bed and a bench, and everything is white. Additionally, there is a small restroom that they are only allowed to use one at a time, a red exit button, a touch screen where they can ask for treats, and a large clock that displays the amount of time remaining. Their meals consist of tasteless white shakes that are packaged in white cartons and are intended to meet their daily nutritional requirements. Additionally, the room has automatic lights that periodically adjust to signal morning, noon, evening, and when night falls, which is a sign they must go to bed. While Mike intends to treat this as a vacation and sleep in late, Kate sets an early alarm so she can maintain some sense of routine. That night, Mike tries to get busy with Kate before they go to bed, but she is concerned that the professor might be watching them. Mike insists, so they ultimately do it in secret under the covers. When morning arrives, Kate goes to the bathroom to look in the mirror and say a few encouraging words to herself. The couples takes a shower, puts their clothes in the laundry chute in the bathroom, and in return get very plain pajamas, but at least these are colored. Next, Mike tells Kate about the documentary he saw about this guy's previous experiment, which resulted in a tragedy for a blue-collar family. Kate is trying to figure out why Voyan is conducting this experiment, but all people know is that he has a lot of money and enjoys using it to put people in unusual situations because he finds the human condition to be fascinating. Sooner than expected, they run into trouble keeping themselves entertained. While Mike frequently fixes his gaze on the time, Kate enjoys quiet meditation. Mike, meanwhile, occasionally veers off on philosophical tangents about things like the meaning of the color white, which he dissects using all his knowledge from art school, or the proper way to brush their teeth. While Kate frequently reminds him to focus on the task at hand and avoid staring at the clock, it can be challenging for Mike to think positively when he has trouble even falling asleep. Mike tries working out, primarily by running, while Kate quietly meditates. They interact by dancing and playing games like Marco Polo or hand clapping. They are always given a new set of identical pajamas when they remove the dirty pair. After a few weeks, something unexpected finally occurs, Mike discovers a bug that has snuck into the room. He attempts to feed it some of the meal shake after baby talking to it, but as soon as he spills a few drops on the ground, the AI voice reminds them that food can only be used for consumption by the contestants. Mike asks for a method of letting the bug out and assures Kate that he doesn't want to leave, but he is concerned that it won't survive. This causes a fight because Kate is certain that pressing the button will result in their defeat even if Mike stays, and all for a pointless bug. Kate accuses Mike of being condescending because she isn't vegan like him after he tells her the insect is a living being and that she lacks compassion. As the argument rages on, Kate accuses Mike of being vegan only to annoy his wealthy father, who provided for Mike's every need, as a result, Mike never experienced suffering, and now he wants to have hipster street art cred. When Kate backs out of the conversation she inadvertently steps on the bug. Despite apologizing and asserting that it was an accident, Mike finds it difficult to believe her. He spends the remainder of the day pouting in a corner before deciding that enough is enough and that staying inactive is unhealthy. Since each of them are permitted two treats, Mike will request one, even if doing so subtracts $100,000 from their winnings. Despite Kate's disapproval, Mike goes ahead with his treat anyway, which turns out to be a single green crayon. Even though it's not much, Mike can now at least draw on the plain walls. After watching him for a while, Kate approaches and requests that Mike draw a picture of her. He agrees, but he thinks realistic portraits are boring and prefers to stick with his own style, so Kate no longer wants to be a model for him. Later, Kate apologizes for acting like a twit and says that although it is harder than she anticipated, they still only have 20 days left. Days go by in boredom until Kate wakes up one morning to discover a gun in the bathroom. Because the AI forbids them from placing items other than clothes inside the laundry chute, they choose to hide it under the bed because they are too afraid to check if it is loaded. The couple is eventually given connection time, which will play for them messages sent by their loved ones. Mike receives a message from his sister, 
who updates him on family matters while also expressing her suspicion that Mike and Kate are no longer dating. Mike is overjoyed to see his sister, but Kate doesn't want a connection of her own and becomes terrified when a video of her homeless father appears on the screen. No matter what Kate does, the video won't stop, so she runs to hide behind the bathroom door and sobs as Mike tries to console her. The following morning, Kate stays in bed the entire day, depressed. Kate explains that she hasn't seen her father in years, and that she has always lied to Mike about his identity because she was ashamed that her father lived in a homeless shelter. With just over two weeks left, Kate continues to stay in bed as Mike looks for new ways to pass the time. He alters his drawings by smudging the crayon with his fingers, or reads the labels on their pajamas. Mike tries to get Kate to eat by making jokes about the food, but to no avail, so instead he joins her in the bed to comfort her. He even resorts to sleeping on the floor just to experience something different. He tries to cheer Kate up by offering a treat, but she does not want to lose the money. Mike, who is growing more and more frustrated, says he's not sure he can do this anymore, which motivates Kate to finally get out of bed. Before she gets in the shower, Kate tells Mike to accept his second treat, even if it costs a quarter of a million dollars. Mike is shocked to see the door open and a young woman, Simone, enter the room with no clothes on. Simone has no knowledge of the project, she is merely an actress getting paid for a job that required her to sign numerous NDAs. Although she was scheduled for a month, her agent predicted that she would be there for just 24 hours. Seeing this, Kate makes Mike give his t-shirt to their new guest so she can at least partially cover up. Kate becomes even more irate when Simone notices Mike's artwork and compliments it, even pointing out the artistic influences. That night, Simone offers to stay awake while the couple sleeps and Mike offers to sleep on the floor, but Kate decides they can all share a bed as long as she sleeps in the middle. The next morning, Kate does not see Simone in the bed and thinks that she left, but Simone was just in the bathroom, causing Kate to walk in on her. At wit's end, Kate decides to take a treat and receives a small box containing three pieces of candy. Simone accepts one right away, but Mike hesitates before eventually indulging as well. The three of them start to dance and flail about the space while exchanging a few group kisses. After a while though, Mike starts having hallucinations where he sees blood all over the place and imagines that he is underwater while watching his younger brother fall alongside him. Although the women bring Mike back to reality, he remains fearful and requests to leave while making references to someone named Sean. After Kate coddles Mike to sleep, Simone inquires as to what Mike had been discussing and Kate explains that he had been talking about his younger brother Sean drowning in the family pool while Mike was supposed to be watching him, which continues to haunt Mike. He was under the influence of drugs at the time, which aggravates his pain and explains why he initially hesitated to accept the candy. When Simone asks how the couple met, Kate recalls fondly how Mike approached her on a rainy day when he noticed that she was without an umbrella. When Mike wakes up, Simone reveals that she lost her mother as a child, and the two of them share a bond over loss and grief. Kate sees them and freaks out, thinking that Simone is trying to steal her boyfriend because she held his hand to comfort him. Simone responds by calling Kate insecure, which only escalates the situation. Mike separates the two women and Kate apologizes, acknowledging that there was probably nothing going on, but Simone antagonizes her by saying that perhaps there was. Mike wakes up the next morning still feeling ill. Although Simone has finally left, she left a note on the wall thanking Mike for a wild night. Kate breaks out into an angry tirade despite Mike saying that like the gun, it is just part of the social experiment. Kate ignores him and eventually knocks Mike to the ground, where he hits his head and begins bleeding. Mike backs away and explains that he has never cheated on her, not even when she moved to New York, and that he put off finishing college in order to stay at home with her when she was depressed. But all he receives in return is jealousy. Kate is still sobbing when Mike suddenly becomes lightheaded due to the wound. He genuinely believes he needs medical attention, but Kate gives him some of the meal shake and covers his wound with a towel, pointing out that the contract specifically stated they could not leave even for medical issues. Mike barely believes what he is hearing and wonders if Kate even cares at all. What if the wound had been even worse, perhaps she would have let him bleed in the pursuit for the money. Although the wound turns out to be manageable and eventually stops bleeding, Mike still wants to leave and encourages Kate to do the same. He hates what this place has done to them and realizes that no amount of money will make them any less broken. Kate declines, pointing out that it's easy for Mike to leave because he's always had money, and she even gets the gun to threaten him into staying. With only a few days remaining, Mike still proceeds to press the button and leave the room. After much time spent mourning in the shower and feeling even more depressed now that she is alone, Kate places her hand on the exit button, contemplating her options with just two days remaining. Many months later, Mike, who is now single, is out for a run when he runs into Kate outside a building. 
They decide to go for a walk to catch up since they haven't seen each other since the room, but when Mike asks Kate if she won the competition or left the room, she avoids the question. But at least she apologizes for what happened. As they walk away, the location is revealed to be a homeless shelter, and a plaque on the building says that an anonymous donation allowed us to build the new kitchen. Meanwhile, a new couple enters the immaculate room to begin their challenge. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like on the video, and subscribe to see more.